your lifted Toyota Tacoma and its expensive catalytic converters have two mortal enemies. Evil sawzall wielding thieves that slide under our trucks, stealing our beloved catalytic converters and selling them for the precious metals inside. Small, adorable dogs seeking shelter from the punishing sun. That one's a joke. Also rocks, sassy, pointy rocks that will destroy your exhaust or even transmission. And don't even get me started on thieves made from rocks. If they exist, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but hope is not lost. In this video, you're gonna get an overview, install guide, and trail demo of the heavy duty version of Miller Cat's Toyota Tacoma Cat Shield. Let's get started. Let's start with an overview of the heavy duty cat shield and full transparency, Miller Cat provided me these parts in exchange for making this video for you guys. And Miller Cat is offering 5% off your order if you use the discount code in the description below. And if you use that code, it does help my channel a little bit. So thanks in advance for doing that. Here's the cat shield installed on my truck. Its main purpose is to deter and prevent thieves from removing your catalytic converters. These crimes are unfortunately very common in my area and they're also ones of convenience, right? So a lifted truck like my Tacoma is a lot easier to slide under and access those catalytic converters than say a Prius or something like that. The shield blocks most access to the catalytic converters while still allowing you to inspect them when needed. This and all Miller Cat cat shields are designed and manufactured in the United States and this one is made of 304 stainless steel. It also has air louvers to keep your exhaust and transmission cool. You might have seen my video about my Forerunner getting the original shield made of 16 gauge steel. This new heavy duty version is made of 12 gauge steel, upgrading you from light off-road protection to, dare I say it, a legit skid plate. Time to have some fun and throw some abuse at the new shield, but first let's jump back to my shop and I'll show you the install process. All right, here's the heavy duty Tacoma Cat Shield laid out in front of you. You get your main plate which actually kind of hurts your hand a little bit if you hit it. <laughs> you have your side wings uh, left and right. Now it's really self-explanatory which one goes where because it only fits one way. You have your stainless steel hardware that's flush mounted, your security bit, a little bit of thread locker, your top plate right here, your instructions, which are really, really clear and concise, and then also, most importantly, stickers. Yay, stickers. Install the side wings to the main shield using the flush mounted hardware. First loosely and then tightening all the fasteners. All right, well, it is immediately evident how much more heavy duty and just heavier this uh, cat shield is than the first one I installed on my 4Runner. So enjoy me sweating while I install this. Next, remove the front skid plate. You can do this installation with it on, but it's more annoying. My TRD skid plate is held on with 17 millimeter and 13 millimeter bolts. Remove these two cross braces held in with four 12 millimeter bolts. Set the supplied top plate on top of the cross member, facing the rounded edge to the driver's side. All right, with those crossbars out of the way and our nut plate in place, it's time to install our shield. This would be easier with an extra set of hands, but I'm gonna do it by myself and film myself at the same time because I hate myself or love myself. I don't know, you choose. <laughs> Ugh. So one way to make, definitely make this easier while you're doing it alone is to just put one of your bolts for the cross brace right here uh, in just so it holds the back so you can work on the front. Use the three long tamper-proof screws to attach the shield to the nut plate. Again, we'll tighten everything down later. Now reinstall your cross braces, sandwiching the back of the shield to the frame. For extra security, Miller Cat provides you with tamper-proof hardware so this can't easily be removed. I used one factory bolt and one security bolt at each end of the cross braces. With everything loosely installed, now tighten everything down. Reinstall your front skid plate and you're done. guys, we're up at a local trail having fun. Let's give the shield a quick shakedown. I'm at a spot where I'm pretty sure it's gonna rub because I was up here shooting a video about the 4Runner a couple months ago, and in this exact spot, I rubbed the standard version of the shield. It took the abuse fine, no damage or anything, but it did rattle quite a bit, which is not confidence inspiring. So let's see how the heavy duty version of the shield does. I think the Tacoma does have less ground clearance than the 4Runner, so we're probably gonna touch it.
Now that was a pretty light hit, but it was a hit. And this thing is definitely nice and rigid. I don't hear any rattling after going over that uh, bump. So we'll see how this thing holds up as I continue to abuse, <laughs> continue to abuse it. But so far, so good. You having fun, Toby? You like air conditioning, Toby? <laughs> I know I like air conditioning. All right, we made it to the top of my local trail and it's getting a little hairier year over year with washouts and logs and bigger rocks and such, so exciting stuff. I think MillerCat has made a really smart product here. The new heavy duty version uh, prevents you from trail damage a lot better than the original version. It's thicker, so it's harder for thieves to cut through. So, I mean, if you're gonna prevent theft or trail damage, this thing pays for itself so quickly, so I can easily recommend it. Friends, be sure to use my discount code if you want one of these for yourself. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and comment below what you thought of the Cat Shield. So until next time, my friends, God bless, and don't forget to do it yourself.